to the book of Genesis chapter 22. Genesis 22. Genesis 22. Abraham's sacrifice of Isaac aborted. Abraham's sacrifice to Isaac aborted. Genesis 22 verses 1 to 2. God commands Abraham to offer up Isaac. Yahweh tested Abraham. There is a vast difference between God's purpose in testing a person and Satan's purpose in tempting a person. Yahweh test to confirm and strengthen Satan tempts to corrupt and weaken and weaken as uh, we see it in Job 1. The, the repetition of the words son and only son reiterates the severe nature of the test. This terminology can refer to an infant as in Exodus 2 verse 6 or a young man as in 1 Chronicles 12 verse 28. We never are secure from trials. In Hebrew, to tempt or to try or to prove or, uh, or to prove are expressed by the same word. Every trial is indeed a temptation and tends to show the disposition of the heart, whether holy or unholy. But God proved Abraham not to draw him to sin as certain tempts. Strong faith is often exercised with, uh, with strong trials and put upon hot services. The command to offer up his son is given in such a language that makes the trial more grievous. Uh, every word here is a sword. Observe first the person to be offered. Take your son, not your bullock or your, your lambs, how willingly would Abraham have parted with them in, uh, in them all to redeem Isaac? Your son, not your servant, your only son, your only son by Sarah. Take Isaac, that son whom you love. Second, second, the place. Three days journey off so that Abraham might have time to consider and might deliberately obey. Third, the manner, the manner. Offer him for a burnt offering. Not only kill his son, uh, his Isaac, but kill him as a sacrifice. Kill him with all that solemn pomp and the ceremony with which he used to offer his burnt offerings. Genesis 22 verses 3 to 10. Abraham's faith and obedience to the divine command. Verses 3 to 8. Abraham obeys. Abraham's faith and obedience to the divine command. Abraham obeys Yahweh's commands immediately and unquestionable. He obeys immediately and unquestionable and uh, unquestionably. Abraham's obedience is based on faith. He believes Yahweh will provide the sacrifice. The word worship. The word worship 
In verse 5 means to bow oneself close to the ground. Never was any gold tried in so hot a fire. But who but Abraham would not have argued with God? Such would have been the thought of a weak, a weak heart. But Abraham knew that he had to do with God, even Yahweh. Faith has taught him not to argue, but to obey. He is sure that what Yahweh commands is good, that what he promises cannot be broken. In matters of God, whoever consults with flesh and blood will never offer up, will never offer up Isaac to God. The good patriarch rises early and begins his sad journey. And now he travels three days and Isaac still in his sight. Misery is made worse when long continued. The expression, we will come again to you, shows that Abraham expected that Isaac, being raised from the dead, would return with him. It was a very affecting question that Isaac asked him. And they were, go, I, I, I asked him as they were going together uphill, My father, my father, Isaac said. It was, it was, it was a melting wood, which one would think uh, should strike deeper in the heart of Abraham. Uh, than his knife could uh, in the heart of uh, Isaac. Yet he waits for his son's question. Then Abraham, where he did not mean it, prophesies, I quote, My son, God will provide a lamb for a burnt offering. And I quote, The Holy Spirit by his mouth seems to predict the Lamb of God, which he has provided and which takes away the sins of the world. Abraham lays the wood in order for his Isaac's funeral pile and now tells him the amazing news. Isaac, you are the Lamb which God has provided. Abraham, no doubt, comforting him with the same hopes with which he himself by faith was comforted. Yet it is necessary that the sacrifice be bound. The great sacrifice, which in the fullness of time was to be offered up, must be bound. And so must Isaac. This being done, Abraham takes the snap. He he takes the knife and stretches out his hand to give the fatal blow. Here is an act of faith and obedience, which deserves to be a spectacle a spectacle to God, angels, and men. Yahweh by his providence calls us to part with an Isaac sometimes, and we must do it with total obedience. Genesis 22 verses 11 to 14. Another sacrifice is provided instead of Isaac. Verses 11 to 12. These verses don't imply that Yahweh is just 
now learning that Abraham fears him. Yahweh is omniscient. The angel of the Lord is saying to Abraham, by your faithful actions, I experientially know that you fear God. The language is accommodated to the human understanding, uttered as it were from a human point of view. Verses 13 to 14. Abraham's obedience is rewarded in three ways. Yahweh provides the very thing he demands from Abraham. It was not God's intention that Isaac should actually be sacrificed, yet nobler blood than that of animals in due time was to be shed for sin, even the blood of the only begotten Son of God. But in the meanwhile, Yahweh would not in any case have human sacrifices used. Another sacrifice is provided. Reference must be had to the promised Messiah, the blessed seed. Christ was sacrificed in our stead as this ram instead of Isaac, and his death was our discharge. And observe that the temple, the place of sacrifice, was afterwards built upon this same Mount Moriah and Calvary, where Christ was crucified, was near. A new name was given to that place for the encouragement of all believers to the end of the world, cheerfully to trust in God and obey Him. Yahweh Jareh, Yahweh Jareh, the Lord will provide, probably alluding to what Abraham had said, God will provide Himself a lamb. The Lord will always have His eye upon His people, in their stress and distresses, that he may give them seasonable help. Genesis 22 verses 15 to 19, the covenant with Abraham renewed. Verse 15, this verse contains the final recorded instances of Yahweh speaking to Abraham. God spoke directly to Abraham eight times. Genesis 12 verse, verses 1 and 7, Genesis 13 verse 14, Genesis 15 verse 1, Genesis 17 verse 1, Genesis 21 verse 12, and Genesis 22 verses 1 and 15. Fittingly, Abraham names this place Yahweh Jareh. The, word, the Lord will provide. Second, God provides assurance of His promises. There are high declarations of God's favor to Abraham in this, in this confirmation of the covenant with him, exceeding any he had yet been blessed with. Those who are willing to part with anything for Yahweh shall have it made up to them with unspeakable advantage. The promise in verse 18 doubtless points at the Messiah and the grace of the gospel. Hereby we know the loving kindness of God our Savior towards the sinful man, in that he hath not withheld his son, his only son, from us. Hereby we perceive the love, the love of Christ, in that he gave himself a sacrifice for our sins, yet he lives and calls to sinners 
to come to him and partake of his blood bought salvation. He calls to his redeemed people to rejoice in him and to glorify him. What then shall we render for all his benefits? Let his love constrain us to leave not to ourselves, but to him who died for us and rose again. Admiring and abhorring his grace, let us devote our all to his service, who laid down his life for our salvation. Whatever is dearest to us upon earth is our Isaac. And the only way for us to find comfort in an earthly thing is to give it by faith into the hands of God. Yet remember that Abraham was not justified by his readiness to obey, but by the infinitely more noble obedience to Yahweh's Christ. To, to, to uh, the, 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 uh, the, his infinitely more noble obedience of Yahshua Christ. Because the, the obedience of uh, Abraham is the obedience, the same obedience we see in Yahshua Christ. His faith, receiving this, relying on this, rejoicing in this, disposed and made him able for such wonderful self-denial and duty. Genesis 22, verses 20 to 24. The family of Nehor. It is unusual for God to speak with an oath. Abraham's supreme act of obedience draws forth God's supreme assurance of blessing. Finally, Yahweh provides for future needs. This chapter ends with some account of Nahod's family who had settled in Aram. In Aram. He, this seems to be given for the connection which is had with the church of Yahweh. From thence, Isaac and Jacob took wives, and before the account of those events, this list is recorded. It shows that though Abraham saw his own family highly honored with privileges, admitted into covenant and blessed with the assurance of the promise, yet he did not look with disdain upon his relations, but was glad to hear of the increase and welfare of their families. Know this, and the Lord will, will bless you, the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us take these prayer points. Let us uh, pray once for each. I will sacrifice everything Yahweh commands me to, without questions asked, hesitation, or second thought. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. No matter the time it takes to execute the sacrifice, I will bring it to completion. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will never myself from all attachment. I will, I will sever myself from all attachments to my object of sacrifice, trusting only in Yahweh. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. As I make the sacrifice of something dearest to me, to Yahweh, I will not look back or be sorrowful. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I am confident that Yahweh will make me do only what is right to test, confirm, and strengthen me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I am confident that Yahweh will not tempt me in order to corrupt and weaken me. Thank you, Lord. 
call to your glory. If that my claim of Yeshua and Messiah, we pray. When I seek Yahweh, he hears me and delivers me from all my fears. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. If that my claim of Yeshua and Messiah, we pray. As I show total obedience unto you, Father Yahweh, do not withhold your blessings to me and my descendants. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. Eat the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father Yahweh, let your will be done in my life. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. Eat the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah.